Hello my beauties, how's everyone doing? If you are new here, my name is Zonaza and I welcome you to my channel, Life with Zonaza. Here we talk all things faith, femininity, fashion, style, beauty, self-development, you name it, we are on it. If you are interested in any of these things that I mentioned here, then you definitely want to join this family by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you don't miss a single new video. And to my returning beauty, my loyal, stunning girlfriend, sisterhood that we have built, welcome back. It is lovely to see you again. On today's video, we are doing another style video. I'm excited about this one, particularly because it's about color and I love color. If you have been part of this family, you will know that I always add a bit of color. Bright colors are one of the best trends this year, especially on the northern part of the equator because they are heading into spring. However, I'm styling the items that we're using today to fit any season. If color is something that you are into, you will definitely enjoy this video. And of course, if you are a neutrals girl, then maybe this is the video that you need to get you starting onto some color for a change. But without wasting any time, let's get straight into today's video. While doing a bit of research onto this trend of bright colors, I noticed that a lot of the most influential and prominent fashion magazines were saying color is back on trend because we've just been through a pandemic. Now the whole vibe is on being excited to live again, having survived such a hectic situation, having lost a lot of people. Now the whole movement has been inspired by that, which I really love because style tends to mimic society at large and capture the emotions of the people. I know that sounds deep, but honestly, I know the connection between how you are dressed and how you are feeling. Color also has that impact on your mood. Once you grab a nice popping bright color, you tend to feel uplifted and excited again. Color has always been a part of my dressing over the years and has evolved. Considering the silhouettes that are more trendy at the time, and the kind of cuts that we're going for, as well as the shades of those colors. So with the items that I'm styling now, I'm mindful of not looking how I looked when I was color blocking about what, close to 10 years ago. So I am considering now what is in and blending all of that into my current style, which I'm trying to get it to be more of a classic style. So for me, it's really important that I don't go all out with color. Even with the items that I buy, I must also consider if they will be reusable or not. If you are someone like me who's trying to build a solid wardrobe, who has a certain look that they want, which is a bit on the mature side, you will find in this video tricks on how to get on this trend without being swallowed by it. <laughs> now to take a look at the first color that we are styling today, it is the color green. They call it Kelly green currently. It is a bright green color that is more leaning towards lumo than bottle green but it's not lumo it's a beautiful stunning green color i think for about a year now or about over six months the color has been doing the rounds i started to notice the color kelly green on the items that i saw by the big brand Bottega veneta and then afterwards i started to see zara and your h m's hopping onto the trend. Now it's everywhere, which makes it accessible to everyone across the income groups, which I love because you ladies know I'm always up for a bugging, especially if this is a trend. So this is the Kelly color. It is very common in oversized shirts, sandals and bags which are the items that i decided to go for however you can also get pants in the kelly color you can get um blazers as well so here this is the first look that we're looking at the main item with this one is this green shirt i got this shirt from the fix it's an oversized drop shoulder cotton shirt i really love it got it one size up because I wanted it to be big and I saw it on one of my favorite YouTubers 
Tati, say Tati. I really love her channel. So I saw it from her and I had been looking for one. I got that. I love the fact that it is a drop shoulder and has these detailed lantern sleeves. I have paired it here with black trousers, which are wide leg. And just to offset the color, I don't want to be overly matched with this particular look. I put it on with some pink shoes, which are also from the fix, but they are very old. That's another thing to note. Green, Kelly Green looks stunning mixed with pink. So that's the look I'm going for here and the green handbag from H&M. I really like this quilted bag. There's a lot of options with this one. I think Mr. Price has, Foshini has, Zara has, but H&M for me is always the first option because I have them locally. And if I want anything in Zara, I know I'm gonna wait forever. And if I want to film something, I wanna do it now. I don't wanna be waiting for some items. And I also love the size of this bag. I'm leaning more towards the one I'm wearing trousers, but also if you are self-conscious of wearing volume on the bottom and the top, you can swap the white leg pants for something slimmer, maybe cigarette pants or skinny jeans. But I just like to slightly tuck in the oversized shirt just to bring back that structure into the outfit. The nice thing about this shirt though, is that you can wear it with as many things as you like. You can wear it with a skirt, whether it's a mini skirt or a midi skirt tucked in, or, you know, just have it flowing over some shorts. So this is a very versatile piece. If you are still new to wearing color, it is okay to mix it up with black. Black is always that safe option that we have that will tone down everything. So I think this black bottom is the perfect fit for the curly green. And still within Kelly Green, here's another way you can wear the color. On this outfit, my outfit number two, I'm wearing wide leg jeans, also from H&M and a white shirt. Those are classics. You are just adding on to what you already have in your wardrobe. Even if they are new, you are still going to get a good way out of them. Now, just to get in that trend, Kelly Green, I'm pairing this with these sandals from Mr. Price. These are Zara Dupes to the T. <laughs> well, I've not seen the Zara pair in person, but in terms of the look, this is exactly the same look that you get from the Zara ones. Judging by some reviews I saw on Instagram, a lot of people were saying these Mr. Price ones are a bit more comfortable than the Zara ones. So if you are one who's skeptical to buy something because it's on trend, maybe the Mr. Price option is your alternative. However, if you're planning on investing in this look and you know for sure that even when this bright color trend passes, you will still love these shoes, then you certainly can go for the Zara pay just to make sure that it is something that is of a better quality that is going to last you longer. If you still want your Mr. Price pay to last you, so you obviously won't be wearing it as often because you won't be getting a lot of quality on those ones. For obvious reasons, it is the cheaper option. This is a nice way of introducing yourself to the color, just adding it as just that pop of color. You can do the same even with the color like purple or pink or orange, just keeping the outfit itself classic and using regular combinations of colors like black and white denim and white or like a blue shirt and all that just adding that element of color which in this case is the sandal and the handbag i really really enjoy this look this for me is something i would wear and i'm trying to make these outfits this entire ideas video the outfits that you can actually wear not something that is just for showing on maybe a reel on instagram or this video how have you been liking these outfits so far kelly green is it a color that you're going for or not do you already have 
a few items in this color or has this inspired you to get some please comment down below also do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed the next color that we're looking at today is the color orange orange is a beautiful color i personally have had not worn it in a very long time and now seeing it back on trend made me love it once more orange and yellow are just some of the colors that look great against my skin so it was a no-brainer that i would go for it and again with this one as well the shirts are taking over the shirts and the blazers the sandals as well so you are spoiled for choice on how you can introduce this color into your wardrobe without going for anything major you can start off with the sandals and here is a look that i use the color orange on i got the top from h&m it is a fine soft ribbed neat crop top with a bit of a small polo or turtleneck I'm pairing the top here with my old Zara pine green pants. I'm not sure if this is pine green or what. I did try to look it up online. I'm not exactly sure. But as you can see, this is the color. Um, I love this combination. I love that it's not the obvious Kelly green. i been wearing these pants for quite a while. You would think for a, a colored item, I wouldn't get a lot of wear out of it but it is proving me wrong which i hope is encouraging you to not fear color when it comes to buying your staples i love this outfit if it wasn't for the heat today it would have been my number one outfit and i would have filmed in it so here is the look i've paired it with gold sandals from Mr. Price and a neutral handbag. I always try to not go all out with the colors as I had mentioned to offset and just neutralize some elements to this. I have kept it to just two colors and then the third color being a neutral color. This is one of those basic rules, which you know rules are meant to be broken, but trying to stick with at least three colors per outfit to avoid being all over the place, still maintaining your look being put together now a neutral color is always great for that for balancing out your look a neutral color can be black can be gray can be beige so with this particular look i went with beige what do you think of this outfit i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this outfit guys don't mind if there's a bit of movement my son was here when i was filming this and i actually saw him on some of the clips when I was checking them and I had taken off all the clothes. So please excuse, <laughs> please excuse that. Anyone who's a parent will know the situations that we have to film under. So overall, this is the look. You can mix your orange with even pink and it will look stunning. You can mix it up with white. You can mix it up with blue. Orange is a beautiful, beautiful color. I also love it accessorized with gold pieces as I have done here. I absolutely love this outfit. In terms of silhouettes, I've gone for a tighter top with this one and a slightly wide open bottom just to create that balance that I always talk about. Tight and heavy or having that waist cinched. I love this one. What are your thoughts on this outfit? Would you mix these two colors together? Will you be trying orange? Don't forget to comment on the comment section down below to keep this conversation going another easy way to get into color is to have it in a form of a dress or a jumpsuit just that one item that you can rock and be fully on into color this is the concept i went with with this particular dress this is the one i'm filming in actually right now this is a hot pink dress is it series hot pink magenta i think it's more magenta than than hot pink comment maybe sometimes i can be a little color blind and i forget to check on the tags and item description but i think this is more magenta than pink mm, i don't know what do you think anyway i have paired this with some blue satin shoes we're keeping to the same soft feel of this one and the element of balance because it's a very short dress for me that i usually would wear i'll definitely wear this for dinner now to offset that length i have it in a long sleeve and then there's the bit of cleavage which i've tried to close and keeps 
opening so the plan is to show off the legs and then cover the boobs and the arms which as you can see is coming together nicely this is perfect for going out with my man just to remind him that you know what you got you a good one <laughs> So this is another way to introduce color into your wardrobe. You can go for pink, like a normal pink. You can even go for red or yellow, but it's just nice to add that pop of color into a nice dinner dress. You can also wear a dress like this with sandals, but personally, I just wanted that mixture of magenta and royal blue. I've had these shoes for quite a while. I love them with jeans. I love them with a lot of other items. So this is more of a classic cut of shoe, but it blends into the trend because of the color. So I highly encourage you to buy like nice pointy stilettos in the colors that are in now. I can assure you, you will be able to wear them going forward. So pink and blue is another combo to look out for. Is it magenta and blue? Whatever the case is, you know what I'm trying to say here with blue, all right? Do you like this outfit? Are you feeling it? I think when I'm going out, I'm gonna wear this with a mini skirt underneath. I do that all the time, like a mini, super mini, mini tight cotton skirt that I got a while ago. It helps to be some kind of shapewear, some non roque vibe. I don't know what non roque is called in English, but yeah, that's what I will do when I do wear this out. What do you think of the outfit? Rate it. <laughs> Before we go into my last outfit for today, I have a few ideas that I saw on Pinterest that you can also add into your collection that I did not particularly cover with this video. Here's a look. I like lilac here mixed with pink. I also like the combination of the same color in different tones. As you can see with this one, this is a pink outfit and then there's the lighter hue of pink and then the stronger one at the bottom this is another amazing way you can wear color however you just need to make sure that those shades complement each other also another great combination to go for is pink and red so these are some of the colors that you can combine to come up with your own looks please don't forget to subscribe i'm plugging you here in a big way <laughs> And now to take a look at my last outfit. These are both items that you have seen me wear before. It's this satin slip dress from Shein and a pink oversized shirt. Also from Shein, sandals from Legit. This is one of the ways I love to wear a slip dress with a nice oversized shirt over it. I love the combination between these two colors. I like that the hues are the same pastel kind of vibe. They are not bright pink, not bright green. I love how they complement each other. You can also wear something flat with this, but I decided to wear it with pink. There we go again with that coordination of the color. You see it here with the pink shirt and the pink shoes. I thoroughly enjoyed this look as well. This is beautiful, nice and relaxed. You can do some shopping in this, a flat shoe. You can also do a lunch as the look is right now. What do you think of this last outfit? Please let me know on the comment section down below. The nice thing about all these items that I'm talking about here, you can easily mix together, swap the top for another one, all within these colors that I talked about. That's the versatility of wearing color. You can come out with lots of different outfits. For example, that pink oversized shirt, you can easily pair that with the green pants that I also showed you from Zara and wear that with your pink sandals and you have a stunning outfit. Also that orange polo neck, you can easily mix that with the black pants. That's the amazing thing about color. It gives you a lot of freedom to mix and match and to let your personality just blossom out. And with that said, we have reached the end of this video. But before I go, let me give you a quick recap of the outfits that we covered today. 
thank you so much for watching today's video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button become part of this family we need to grow and i'm really excited that we have made it so far by the time this video goes out i am pretty confident we'll be at 15,000 subscribers thank you so much for the continued love and support for the channel i'll see you on my next video i love you and god bless you